and I'm playing a stubborn Tita in Easter Sunday with Joe Coy. It's about time that we see a Filipino family on screen in that there are millions of Filipinas in Los Angeles alone across America. To think that we've never had our stories told on the big screen is kind of shocking, but it's because we're just doing our hard work and plodding forward and we're not, you know, sticking our head up and saying, oh, I should be on TV and being all precocious. It took the right time, I think, to have someone like Joe Coy that has the comedy and that following to bring it to um, someone like Steven Spielberg who could get in front of millions of eyeballs thousands of screens. When you work on a project, it really comes from the top down. Joe is a ray of sunshine. He just lights up a room when he walks into it. He is so positive and generous and inviting, and he's like the cheerleader behind the camera, just going, yeah, that's awesome, I love it, I love you, you're so good. And that makes everybody want to do their jobs even better. To put a movie out on the big screen is quite a tall order, and I think we have the right people in the forefront to make that happen right now at this moment, and so it all happens as it should. Tita Teresa is an amalgam of many different women that I've crossed paths with that held themselves in a certain way. We're trying to scratch and claw their way back to 20-something, uh, their glory days as a beauty queen or something. So I've sort of cherry-picked different aspects of, of different women that I've, I've uh, crossed paths with over the years. I can't help but think that I'm a little bit like Teresa. I mean, some part of her lives within me, otherwise she wouldn't have come out of me. I've always aspired to be a ballsy broad of a certain age, and I like to think that I'm at that point in my life, and it was fun translating her to a strong Filipino auntie. It's amazing to think that in 38 years in this business that I haven't played Filipino. And this year I have a song up for Grammy in Best Global Performance where I'm singing Tagalog and doing the Tinik Ling on the video to being a, a lead in this movie, um, playing Atita, speaking Tagalog in a film that's gonna be in the theaters. It just seems like this whole serendipitous convergence happening right now, and it's so exciting on both ends for me. For any Filipino actors trying to get into the business, there's no better time for you than now. This is our time. Go for it. Write your stories. Direct your short. You have an iPhone you can make a movie on. You can get your story out to someone, and then maybe your movie's gonna be the next one up on the big screen. Hey, One Down, I'm Tia Carrere, and this is me, represented. Run, go and see Easter Sunday, August 5th. Please, I wanna do part two in Manila.